This sounds peaceful, doesn't it? Welcome to Sharon, Vermont, a tiny town just east of the Green Mountains, near the New Hampshire border and the Connecticut River. You'd assume by my description that this is a quiet, secluded place, and you'd be right. But at times during its history, it's been far from that. Imagine if you'd just moved into a house in Sharon, and while making small talk at the country store, someone says this. You're moving to the air? Oh, that's great. And you know, is it near? Yeah. Oh, it's on Quimby Mountain Road. Uh, oh, the drug bust house. <laughs> Over the course of about 20 years, Sharon, and one stretch of dirt road in particular, has seen some fascinating people and events. Movie stars have been here. And then we also did other acoustic playing with Brandon playing along as well, you know, because he, he played acoustic and sang. Rock stars have been here. We had a bulldozer and they bought a Fiat, and they ran it down that driveway and smashed into it as hard as they could. They recorded that whole thing, and it's it's actually in the, this song. The drummer had a Lamborghini, and he drove that up to the studio, and we offered to crash his Lamborghini into the bulldozer, but he was not really too interested in doing that. And drug traffickers have been here. It, it would hurt some nights. Some nights you're just sweating. And it rained, but we brought gear with us and we were there for the elements. And we just laying out in the woods because we wanted to keep an eye on who's coming and going from the place. There is a urban legend going around that the police suspected they hadn't found all of the money or drugs and that the traffickers had buried it somewhere in the woods. I certainly know that we did as thorough searches as we thought we possibly could. My name is Anthony Cerdelli. I grew up in Sharon. Not just in Sharon, but at the house that some of these people once called home. I'd heard legends about this place and who'd been here, but I didn't really believe them. When I took the time to look into them, my old neighborhood took on a whole new significance. It went from the place I'd spent an idyllic and sometimes boring childhood to the setting of some of the most stunning stories I'd ever heard, and I'm here to tell you about them. Stay tuned for True Stories from an Old Dirt Road, premiering on October 30th. You can find True Stories from an Old Dirt Road on all major podcast apps, including Apple Podcasts and Spotify. If you're excited for this show, please share this preview with your friends. If you want, you can reach me on Twitter at DeliTweets. That's at D-E-L-L-I-T-W-E-E-T-S. I'd love to hear from you.